Isa sa mga naaalala ko na hindi ko makalimutan was when I first met Casey in Dubai. Siya pa yung nagpa-picture sa akin kasi ako yung guest ni Mama Shawi nun sa concert niya. Tapos siya pa yung nagpa-picture sa akin. So parang kinilig ako kasi parang, oh, Casey Conception, tapos siya pa yung nagpa-picture sa'yo. After that, nagkaroon pa kami ng mas marami pang bandi when she invited me sa, sa house niya para mag um, kumain kami doon. Pero parang we ended up cleaning her whole house. Pero after that spring cleaning, talagang siguro more than half ng gamit, not naman kalat, pero gamit, talagang na-let go niya dahil sinabi ko sa kanya na alam mo, mas marami pang tao yung pwedeng makinabang ng mga gamit na to. Since hindi mo na siya nagagamit more than two years na. So, yun, yun yung isa sa mga uh, memories na hindi ko makakalimutan with Casey. I spent a lot more in-person time with Casey when we were younger, but we have stayed close, you know, despite the years. Um, and we grew up to become really busy adults. But when we were younger, I remember when I was still getting to know her and I traveled with her a couple of times. We went to Thailand and we shared a hotel room, like, I think for the first time. And I remember na si Miss Maharot, Miss Malambing. I was not used to... She's super, super, super maharot kasi and she's like really gigil like with the people that she loves. That's, that's just her love language talaga. She likes to touch and she likes to hug. Um, I'll never forget when um, Casey joined the the Pangilinan family, um, it was it was so weird because um, coming dalawa lang ni Julie yung yung uh, same age and then all of a sudden uh, we had a third cousin um, who was our age and you know I used to tease her a lot and I know that she used to feel bad a lot and I made her feel bad so many times and in case I'm so sorry <laughs> but you know she she. Um, it really, she was family right away, you know, and it, it was so nice. Um, she was a great addition to the family, and, and even until now, you know, um, it, it really feels like she is family to me, you know. Uh, I love her so much. Fondest memory is when she told me to pack my bag. Um, she booked me a flight to Hong Kong, and I left that day. Oh, Without that was, that was super fun. I had no cash. Um, yeah, just no her. Cash. Yeah, nothing. Just Ate. There, just Ate. A car picked me up. I just trusted her, yes. and she was like, "Don't worry, I got you." And she did. Okay. Yeah. Fondest memory. Fondest memory is when she taught me about budgeting um, in in LGV because I was all but a young working girl just trying to find my way in life. And she was just like, any exp expenses mo? How much are you making? So I think that really helped me, you know, as I am now a mother. <laughs> you know, managing a household. No, and another, just actually, just the four months that she stayed over in the house. Super core memories. Like, we have, we've just cried together. together. We've yeah. cried together. We've laughed together. Sleep over. <laughs> I think one of the fondest memories I have of Beats was when she had just gone through a breakup and then we went to Boracay like spontaneously and then we had a really great time it was like an adventure like one of the best adventures of her life I guess it sort of healed her in a way it was a very liberating and free experience I must say I think during the time I um, first traveled, I uh, had a shoot in Paris in 2005. It's my first time to be in a different place. And um, like she, she took me to like one of the pl best places I've seen. Uh, it was totally expected, but I know that she's very friendly and warm, but that's probably like one of the best things that I 
that I had because of um, like uh, sharing her time and actually sharing sharing the city where she actually is thriving. There was one night where it was just unplanned. We just stayed up until like four four a.m. Yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't even realize the time. <laughs> <laughs> we're just having girl talk and stuff. So, but we were talking about a lot of things. So she, she was giving us like sisterly advice. So, para sa mga oh like I'm your ate, ha? Like giving you this advice and everything yeah. she was saying, it stuck to us because like she was like saying that I've been always independent and like I've always been um, someone na parang I'm, I'm, I'm on her. Yeah. I'm on my own. Yeah. yeah. So she was like telling us that para you. You also have to learn how to be alone at the same time, accept not being alone. Oh, it's a lot of advice. Also, yeah, accept some love. Actually, yeah. what I would say, a highlight of that trip was Casey would prepare the food also. Yeah. Like, I think one thing I love that she made were the pancakes. I and then know. she was just on the go. Like, yeah, like she taught me, oh my god, I just realized, she taught me how to use the Nespresso machine, oh, like, like the coffee machine. And every and, time yeah. she's like, does anyone want coffee? Super. She's like a barista, but so she's always super sweet, like yeah, and super game for anything. Like I think, like she even was the one who encouraged like, all of us to uh, do the banana road. Uh, yeah, the boat ride. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah, in Lobo, we didn't know it existed. Yeah. We've we, we've been like we've years had a house in Lobo, Batangas for years. Na, pero she na nagsabi na par. Oh my god, guys, let's do a banana boat. Let's do UFO. We're like that existed. She's like game, 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 and yeah. even the staff of like the that service of the water sports services still remember her like being so nice though from Aww. last year from her birthday okay. now. So we're like, okay, it's our turn this year. It's a special occasion like this that reminds us of one of the first times that we met um, together in LA uh, during the during the pandemic days. Um, that on was in Mirame, right? Mirame. Yeah. That was the first time that we met. And that was when our friendship began, and then began um, crazy nights of slumber parties <laughs> and uh, Delilahs wearing multiple masks, sleepover, sleepover parties. One of my fondest memories with Ate Casey is one of the times we bumped into each other in New York and then we ended up spending most of the trip together. That was really special to me because we got to bond outside of Manila and that was a low point in my life and she was really there for me to encourage me and just give me a better perspective on life. But recently, I think one of my other fondest memories um, of her is just having dinner in my house, my new home, she got to come when we were just setting up and that's the thing about Ate Casey, even the simplest memories and simplest moments become so special when you just are together, can be real, can be candid and even if there are times we don't always get to see each other, when we do, it's like it was just yesterday that we just saw each other. The first time I worked with her or met her is uh, on her very first TV um, ano ba yun? TV show. So, uh, ang first TV show niya was I Am Casey. So, parang it's like an episodic ano, na series na for this episode, iba yung story, and then ibang story, ibang story. And ganyan. So, I did the uh, musical episode. Kasi iba-iba siya. Eh. May drama, may comedy, may... Ano. So, I did the musical episode kung saan... Parang step up, ganyan, may mga dance number siya, ganon. So, doon kami unang nagkita, nag-meet nag at nag-work. So, ang hindi ko makakalimutan doon sa episode na yun is, um, meron siyang dance number, yung Feedback by Janet Jackson, na shoot siya sa isang parking lot. So, 
shoot namin yon sa basement one ng ABS-CBN. It was already parang mga 6 a.m. in the morning. Yon. So parang that was our last uh, sequence for the day. So nagmamadali na ang lahat kasi nga 6 a.m., 7 a.m. papasok na yung mga tao, so mapupuno na yung parking. So nagmamadali na, double time na kami. So I was the PD of that uh, series and also the stylist. So ang costume na nun was uh, a cat suit, uh, parang leather na cat suit. Nung pinapasuot ko na yung cat suit, nung zinizipper niya, zinizipper ko na pataas, uh, natanggal yung zipper. So, sabi ko, shit, anong gagawin ko dito? Eh, minamadali na kami. Minamadali na ako ng director. The director was Mr. M. Minamadali na ako ng EP, nung lahat kasi papasok na yung Sabi ko, shit, anong gagawin ko? Anong gagawin ko? So, sabi ko sa kanya, bebe, meron ka bang magandang bra? <laughs> like yung lace, yung ganyan. Tapos sabi, ah, uh, I think meron. Pwede mo bang suuti? <laughs> Sabi ko sa kanya. Tapos, oh, pwede naman. Sabi, tapos, so sinuot niya yung lace ng bra. Tapos yung, yung zipper, kung saan natanggal, tinahi ko doon, doon sa bra niya. So parang nakabuka siyang ganon. Tapos nakikita ko nyari yung, yung lace niyang bra. Tapos, bongga! Na, na, I mean, nag-work. So parang, so parang nagmarka siya sa akin kasi parang ay, ang ang ganda naman nitong katrabaho ang ang cowboy niya ang ang gaan ang so yon and then in ano na, by chance nagka soap siya nagka movie tas ako yung naging PD niya so yon naging close na kami ganun <laughs> yon and of course the yeah the rest is history and mga ang dami memorable moments pero yun na lang ikukuwento ko kasi that was the first time that we met and I had the chance to work with her. Fondest memory I have of her, because feeling ko every time that we get together, we're always on the phone. So every time we get together, feeling ko it's a fond memory for me, because tamad kami lumabas ng bahay, so tamad din kami, bihira lang kami magkita, but we're always on the phone. We're always chismisan until madaling araw, like five, six hour levels ng chismisan. As in, to the point na ang init -in na ng, ng cellphone namin pag nag-chismisan kami. But, um, kasi one of the things about her is that she's super loyal. Not, I don't know if people know how loyal she is. Like, if she loves you, she'll really pull through for you and she'll be there for you. And she was there in one of the, in one of the darker moments in my life. So I think yun yung pinaka fondest memory that I have of her. Na kahit na she was all the way I think in Sweden or some part of I think in Sweden. She was in Sweden ng time na yun. She really took the time out and 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 answered the phone long distance just so she could be there for me. So yun yun yung fondest memory that I have of her. My birthday wish, of course, um, excellent health for her and her entire family. Um, thank you, Case. Um, happy, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Um, I just pray that, that God continue to bless you. I pray for more blessings. Hi, Ate. I love you. Happy birthday. I love you. <laughs> um, I wish you the one, the perfect guy for you you deserve it we love Our you always open for you yeah, we love you yeah, guys happy you. birthday happy birthday i love you so much happy birthday at the alam mo na birthday wish ko sa iyo um, a family with six children no less <laughs> your own tribe <laughs> your soon sana soon <laughs> chat <laughs> Hello guys, it's 2 a.m. and ang saya saya ko. Of course, behind me are the last ones standing. Ito talaga yung mga talagang loyal sa akin, every party. And dito sila until the very end, which pwede pang bukas ng umaga yun. So sa ngayon, bago pa tayo mag-breakfast, makikienjoy muna ako sa mga BFFs ko. I hope you enjoyed partying with us. I'd like to thank 
all of my um, supporters for greeting me on my birthday and also to all my best friends for making me feel so loved today and every day. I hope lahat ng April babies ay magsaya at maging happy. Start of something new, um, new beginnings, fresh starts. And for me, that means, you know, just choosing to be happy and choosing to help each other live happier. And alam niyo yun, bawas toxic, di ba? Kailangan good vibes lang. I love you all. Grabe. First experience kung mag-host ng ganito dito sa bahay ko. Ang dami kong natutunan. Ang daming na-arrange ng mga gamit. Grabe, tatlong araw lang yung preparation namin for this kasi hindi pumapayag yung mga kaibigan ko na walang salubong. Kaya worth it lahat ng pawis at pagod ng pag-ready para sa party na ganito. ba diba? kailangan malinis, tingnan yung bahay, kailangan masarap yung pagkain, masarap yung drinks, at masarap ang kwentuhan at samahan. ba? Diba? It's really yung friends natin, yung mga family members natin, and yung mga mahal natin sa buhay na talagang nakakabigay ng meaning sa lahat, sa lahat ng pagdaanan natin, sa lahat ng selebrasyon. Dapat nandyan, nangingibabaw ang love. Uh, kaya love guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed my birthday party. And happy birthday again to all April babies. See you in my next vlog. Bye.